His name is Beta Ray Bill. He's an alien with a horse face and the power of Thor and friendship and lightning and camaraderie because he's Beta Ray Bill. That's good. That's fine. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. It's day two, the second day. Yesterday was Chick. Today is me. We're going to do some fun stuff. Um, I have painted two Beta Ray Bills, and I thought to myself, why not a third? Why not? Um, so um, going through some images and stuff like that, and like looking when, you know, when you're researching these characters, you come across a bunch of stuff that maybe you haven't read yet, maybe you haven't got to, maybe you forgot about. And I, I kind of fell in love with Beta Ray Bill with a Twilight Sword and a sick main on his helmet and I was, I was like you know it'd be fun to convert that like you know it, i mean who knows maybe we'll do that as an actual release in the future but i thought i thought why not like I, i'd like to convert something i like i like messing with putty i'm a i'm an old school miniature miniatures person and so some putty and plastic card goes a long way to my heart and i thought why not let's just do one so i started working on one uh basically just to get the foundational elements built in uh, so we can work on it live, right? I couldn't do everything sh just fresh. The putty would be too wet because you got to work with putty in layers and let it cure and then do the next step. So we'll do a couple steps with putty. We're going to play with some plastic card. We're going to sand some stuff down and we're going to see if we can make this look cool. I'm not a sculptor, so I'm not promising anything. So I don't know. Why not? Let's just kick it over here to the mini cam. Boop. What do we got here? We do have a big release coming. It's pretty awesome. But right now it's big reveal time. Okay, so I've got the start of a sweet mohawk. Um, I just took two pieces of brass rod and I drilled them directly into his noggin. Uh, and those were the, um, those were the like, foundational support struts to add some putty to um, and then I took some putty you can use any any type of putty there's so many types of putty out there um, Fimo um, Abe's epoxy green stuff I use a, I use this aluminum putty that you can get from several places I like it because it's very sandable and very uh, firm um, but also it's super soft like butter when you first start with it so I really like this putty. Um, so I made like a long strip, actually way longer than this. And I kind of attached it to the head and to those two support struts, right? And then I let that cure. Then I trimmed it away and kind of started working on the shape, um, flattening the top, cutting off the back a little bit, stuff like that. And then I added another layer over here to start smoothing it out. I'm gonna do another layer over here today. And then on this side where we've let it cure, we're gonna build up some of the striations and form. And that's the big key to like sculpting. Um, you can't just glop on some putty and start putting on the details. You gotta build up the form slowly, slowly, um, creating um, elements to work on. Now the other thing I, I started building was the sword. Um, so I've cut off the hammer, drilled a long piece of brass rod, stuck it in the hilt, and then I worked on a sword. Now, you can see maybe, oh, you know what I didn't bring is a pencil. Pencils are super useful. Um, I, cut, I drew the shape of the sword out, and it's got the little indents. And then this is two layers of plastic uh, card, and I uh, laid the shape that I wanted out on top of a piece of plastic card, and I just cut it out, and now I'm gonna shape these together to make one single piece because um, I needed a I needed a much thicker piece of plastic card than a single sheet. Plus it let me have like a slight uh, gap to drill my hole um, and I attached a piece of plastic card that we're going to shape into a pommel. Look at that, ton of contact coming in clutch. So you can see if I color in that piece of plastic card underneath, you can see I've got the little Maybe you can see the divots now. 
What pin vice do I, I don't know. I just have a pin vice. I, I, I never look at, I don't, I don't, I don't have a special brand or anything that I like. Um, any good pin vice is, is perfectly sufficient. Let's do some putty. Uh, this is my favorite uh, putty working tool. This is actually a, a hobby blade that I've dulled. Um, I've taken s different grits of sandpaper and I made this dull and I rounded the tip. This is my sculpting tool. Um, and actually I made this, uh, this handle. This is a piece of brass because I like the weight of it. Um, just the innards of, a, of another hobby holder hobby blade holder um, but it was it was kind of janky plastic um, and didn't care for the grip so was inspired by somebody else our physical engineer Chris and uh, made my own handle out of brass rod or brass tubing so it feels really good in my hand so we're just gonna take some putty my putty's old. My putty's old. I need to buy a new putty. So old. So you got any questions? Now's the time because I'm just mixing putty. I have nothing to talk about except for mixing putty. Ooh. Ooh. That putty's so old. It's actually just cold too. It's real cold. Got to warm it up. It makes it like butter. Like butter. This is the boring part. Gotta get that good mix on there. Hmm? Hmm? Oh yeah, I love I love a good conversion. I've been converting mentors for a long, long, long time. Um, and it's it's fun. Uh, be a little dangerous with Marvel Crisis Protocol, right? <laughs> Like if you turn your Immortal Hulk into Thunderbolt Ross, like there's probably a good chance we'll make Thunderbolt Ross. I mean, we've said many times we want to make every character, but sometimes a little alternate pose goes a long way. I love seeing when people come up with weird poses. Um, you know, taking taking something and making it your own is super awesome. Um, and just the physical aspect of, of hobby mentors is so unique to uh, what we do as a hobby um, that sometimes it's just nice to get some putty out. The, no, this putty is perfectly reasonable to use. I, all putty is perfectly reasonable to use for depending on what that what what you're what you're trying to do with it. You can use it immediately. We're going to use this immediately. I've used green stuff immediately. It just depends on the application. Uh, when you're building foundational stuff or really, really tight um, um, details, you might want to wait a little bit more. The, the way to pre prevent from being sticky is a little, what I like to call lip balm. I'm going to put that on my hand. I missed Vex's comment. He asked a question. I missed what it was. I uh, can't, I don't know, I can't talk about if... I, I was just going to say, I... Yeah, official mats, like, you, you'll know when they're happening, when we say they're happening. If we don't say they're happening, they're not happening. That's with everything we do here. Um, that's never changed over the years. Um, you know, we, we don't talk about stuff. Um, terrain, we have the, we have the Wakanda terrain. I must have missed it. Was the, immor was the miniature for Immortal Hulk an unused design for OG Hulk or a new design? And how many iterations did you go through? Uh, totally new design. Um, totally new design. Totally new um, concept for Immortal Hulk. Um, I think he went through like maybe two. He actually didn't go through that many iterations. We, I, I knew immediately like we wanted that Hulk up in the air and just kind of super dynamic. Um, we had years of working with plastic at that point, and you know, you want to push yourself and 
sometimes taking like those big beefy characters and putting them in the air is kind of unexpected, right? Because typically you see big beefy characters double feet planted on the ground to hold weight. And it's just like, you know what? It's, let's do something unique. So it, it was kind of, it, it was, it kind of wrote itself a bit. Uh, do you ever design a character with putty or clairs at all? Everything's computer. When, when you're working with plastic, um, everything goes through like some big fancy machines and it's, we do everything, uh, we do, everything is digitally sculpted. Now that said, uh, the Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme, the first iteration of him uh, was a test to see if the, if it would work, like how, how the idea would look in, in three dimension. So the very first Doctor Strange was a piece of pink foam, um, a piece of pink foam, some blue tack, and a, uh, a, 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 a test shot of um, Hawkeye, all smashed together to figure out if Sorcerer Supreme would look cool on the table. The answer was yes, but. So we're gonna use a little putty. I rolled this out pretty thin. And this is just going to be an additional, this is going to be the layer that covers my support structure and creates a little more smoothness and shape in the, uh, the mohawk. So I'm going to use the edge of this sculpting tool I made. I'm going to smash it down. Get a nice transition. And now you see that the lip balm is keeping the putty from sticking. Get rid of this extra I don't need here. A little extra putty, but I need to hide that pin. Create a little bit better curl, a little better shape. Also, I got some clay sculpt, uh, clay shapers. Yeah, pink foam, blue tack, and a dream. It's kind of the way it works. I'm hoping we see the model or that was designed with Immortal Hulk sculpted in mind as sort of a dual piece. Yeah, there's definitely, that Immortal Hulk is definitely, something was designed alongside. A lot, a lot of miniatures are actually, a lot of our miniatures we design in conjunction with other things. Like very seldom are things um, designed in a vacuum. I want to square this up a little bit. I like a nice square shape. If you look at the comic panels that this is based on, the mohawk has a bit of squareness to it. So I'm just going to use the side of that hobby tool to like really start smoothing it out. A little extra. So I got a little bit of pin showing still. So, well, Immortal Hulk is designed to go against Hulkbuster, but there was something else along the way. Let's use a little putty. I like to put it on my thumbnail there. Keeps it right there and accessible. So that's already a pretty good shape. 
Use my clay show sculpt clay shaper. A sharp line there in that crevice. I like good sharp lines. Smooth it out, just keep smoothing. A lot of patience in this process here. Okay, now let's go to the other side and start putting in some details. Seen Spider-Man versus Ock, Logan versus Sabretooth, Black Panther versus Killmonger. Care to give us a hint on what comic might be the next theme for a Rivals panel? Um, no. <laughs> I, 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 I can't do that. Like, I can't do that. Sorry. Yeah, Summer's got the dagger eyes. My wife wants to know if you've ever heard that you sound like Badger. I, I don't, I've never watched that show. I don't know if I sound like that or not. Okay, we're going to use a little putty here, and we're going to start building in some shapes. Yeah, Summer will cut the feed. So we're going to the other side. This side's been cured. We're going to start building in some shapes. So the first thing I want to do is kind of get this sort of mounted to the mohawk. Get it pretty thin. Got a little too much putty happening, to be perfectly honest. A little, little heavy handed here. So we're just going to peel, peel it away. Jimmy, I'm not funny. Usually I get told I'm too piffy. <laughs> oh, see, I like this little curl in the front. So we want to want to maintain that and exaggerate that. So I'm just going to push some putty. Try to maintain that little curl. And we're going to shape that a little deeper later. It's all a process. I'm in no rush here. Rushing through something never got to you anything. Oh, what made you decide to revisit the content of terrain? Uh, as in what prompted interest in making terrain more than throwable object? But, uh, you know, just at first, you know, I wouldn't even say that that was never not on the table. Um, I'm not going to get too much into development's brain. That's, that's their space. Um, but you know, you can have an idea and not implement it because you want to build on the initial concept first. So a lot, a lot of times it just becomes the right time and the right way to do it. And you know, it's it's also kind of like kind of like a kind of like a bicycle, right? Like you don't start out on a ten speed, you know, 
$5,000 mountain bike, you, you start out on your tricycle and you get the bicycle, you know, a huffy with some training wheels. Like, the, the game can grow and develop and it's like super important. So I'm going to go for broad shapes. Not a, I'm not a big sculptor. Has there been discussion on when the next mini Strava games will be? There has been discussion. Was that funny enough, Jimmy? Was that, was that being pithy? Little triangle chops. So this on the top doesn't matter right now. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be able to shave that and shape that later. <laughs> right now we just wanna focus on some broad shapes. It'll look way better when it's painted, I hope. <laughs> One thing about me, Summer, I rely on the paint job to make it. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, as with many things, we, we can't announce until we can announce, and then when we announce, you have the information. It's just the way it works. What if we, get, what if we got excited and told you wrong information? Because things can change. You know how hard it is to make something permanent? So difficult. Summer knows. Summer, how hard is it to make something permanent? Yeah. I don't know if y'all can hear her, but it is. Woof! Woof! Is there a possibility the Cosmic Ghost Rider will have an alternate head to have his dome helmet? Heck yeah! I'll, I'll give that one away. <laughs> I did. Look, not son. You, not yeah, forgiveness, not permission. What can I say? I got excited about Cosmic Ghost Rider. You can't get me talking about Ghost Riders. Yay. All right, that's all you get, chat. Oh, she's shutting y'all down. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I ruined it for you all. Punish the many for the sins of the few. No, there's totally a helmet and a non-helmet option. It's, it's, it's badass is what I would say. That's all right. I'll, I'll take the heat today, Summer. You can be mad at me. I'll take heat when I deserve it, for sure. Uh... Oh, confirmation! The Moak is confirmation. We're working on a Yondu. Yondu would be a great character to to work on. He's got he's got a lot of personality, and those movies really really brought him to life. I think, right? Gonna keep working this putty, smoothing it out, making it cool, as cool as I can, which isn't very cool because I'm not a sculptor. Um, I think for tournaments it's fine. I I would have to reread the rules to the worthy. I don't, I think he's suddenly not worthy legal. Okay. Um, but I don't think that that's true. I have to reread how. 
a new character. And this is still Beta Ray Bill, so Beta Ray Bill is Beta Ray Bill's Beta Ray Bill. Like Red Hulk is not legal in the worthy. Does that make sense? Red Hulk is not legal in the worthy. Yeah, Red Red Hulk is not Bruce Banner. Right. So that's that's not legal in the worthy. Okay. The character. The character. Yep. AMG. AMG. Yep. We are going to enter the yeah. I think so. If I remember the rules correctly, that does sound correct. That sounds correct. I wrote the rules and I still have to always go back and reread them. Did you see a lot of conversions when you were judging during the morning? Yeah, there's quite a few conversions. There's some really nice conversions. Uh, very exciting. I love seeing conversions. I love, I'm, the whole fun of miniatures, like the whole fun of miniatures from beginning to end is is the joy of being able to make something and put your your mark on it, right? Like even if it's just a paint job, like it's your paint job. No one's going to paint like you, right? Um, so that's the whole joy of miniatures is this opportunity to really become, you know, a storyteller and make something uniquely yours. Um, my, my partner, she does miniatures and let me tell you, she chops them up and she makes them the, her own, right? Um, I try to make them my own. I try to make some cool, interesting stuff. Oh, boo, boo. I didn't know we were getting a concert today. It's always a concert with me. You guys gave a medal to a Tony Stark Endgame sculpt where he had a different character's head. But it was still Tony Stark, though. Like, using, using the head of Doctor Strange to make a helmetless Tony Stark at miniature scale, when done properly, it's still, you've converted it, you've made it Tony Stark. That's, there's, that's not, that's, that's not Doctor Strange. That's not a different character. It's just using the head and making it yours. That doesn't make it Doctor Strange at all. So, perfectly legal. Yeah, that was a very cool piece. A lot of cool conversion work. Well, I know conversions are illegal. I was thinking more like the way. It's the wording. The wording is tricky. Once again, it's like the Thunderbolt Ross... Versus Bruce Banner. That is a different character. Oh, I'm at the end of my putties. We're just getting some lines in that sweet mohawk. Yeah, I mean, half the time you can't even tell the difference between Tony and Strange in the comics. Comics are an interesting. I love, I love the art of comics. I, I wanted to be a comic book artist when I was, when I was a wee lad. Um, did I ever tell you the story somewhere? No. I wanted to be a comic book artist so bad. Um, but comics are designed to be drawn very, very fast. So like a lot of comic artists, like they get their one style and they kind of just do it. So like a lot of times it's, it's an interesting, like characters just kind of look the same sometimes. How hard is it to hold off on fan favorites and space out extremely popular characters to shine a light on other great characters? I, I don't find it difficult because I think every character has a, their place. I think. I don't think there's an unimportant character in the Marvel mythos. So I personally don't find it difficult. Um, 
I, I like I like weird comic book stuff. I like you know I like Wolverine just as much as everybody else. But you know I love I love the weird stuff too. I think Modok is probably the greatest comic book design. Just just in, just straight out just that's in the sentence period. I think Modok is literally the greatest comic book design because it shows just how how crazy you can be a comic books and just the, the pure imagination that can flow from somebody and just make something so out there and so bizarre and just be like and just be free. It, everything doesn't have to be, you know, grim, cool, dark guy with brooding, you know, with a brooding jacket and katanas. Like calm down. Like things need brevity, things need lightness. We need more heart and love in the world and like there's a place for those. Um, so. Yes, Summer loves Modoc. Yeah, he's a great sculpt. He's cool. That new one, I'm I'm working on the new one right now. His little finger, his sassy finger point. He's just being so sassy. <laughs> Everyone's someone's favorite. Exactly, Seeker. I will say Claw miniature that was shown is an awesome version. Uh, that Claw, um, I'm not going to give away too much on this, but that Claw was one of those, um, it's the, 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 the product, concept came across the desk and you know sat down and you start thinking about poses for claw and you know, like start thinking ideas and I think I was riffing with Josh and he mentioned the sonic echoes and then of course immediately it was like I don't we can't even do that like this sounds so hard and and I was like like 15 minutes later I'd drawn the pose with the echo um, of course, like a lot of times with these real complex stuff, or even the not complex stuff, I share it with the engineering team and I'm like, okay, so tell me what I did wrong and how can we make this work? And they were like immediately on board for the challenge of it. That is a incredibly ambitious sculpt, an incredibly ambitious design uh, challenge. Um, the miniature is... It's trickier than say Bay Bill, right? It's not just arm, arm, torso, leg, leg, head. It's it's a little bit more complex, but at the end of it, it's totally worth it. That is a that is that is us pushing. That is us pushing. I'm holding out for a sweet mojo. I love mojo. Like mojo, long shot, dazzler, spiral, like Mojo's once again just ridiculous comic book design, just fully realized and just being free of itself and aware of what it is, and I think that that's super, um, super awesome and fun, and that's like some of my favorite stuff with comic books is like it's just it's just freeing, and you don't have to be confined to one thing. I think the 90s ruined much of my generation and what they think a comic book should be and kind of forgot what they they are and what they can be. Um, ooh, that was, that's a hot take, sorry. I usually don't do those. And ruin's not a fair word. I apologize for that. But like, it's not all grim. It doesn't gotta be grim. Who would win in an arm wrestling match, Spiral Adopter Ganger? These are the these are the questions I've been waiting for from chat, and I've not gotten in four years. These are the hard hitting questions. Like these are the standing outside. I worked at a comic book shop in the '90s. These are the conversations I had standing outside. Like, and from the photos, it was great success. What kind of on a whole wasn't on my list, but the Rivals panel call might change that. Yeah, the Rivals panel's sick. Mm. 
more lines. Can you see them? Yeah. See those Mohawk lines? It might be a little out of control, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm here for out of control hair. It's comics. Be ridiculous. Be free. Let yourself go of the confines and constraints of you know the past and find freedom and joy and stuff. Like, man, oh man, let me tell you, I, I let myself do that and I have been way more happier for it. <laughs> Just let stuff be cool and ridiculous. That's what I say. So I think that that's, I'm gonna, I want a lot of little lines right down here by the base, like where, where it comes out the scalp or the helmet, I guess. All right, chat, what do we think? What do we think about that mohawk thus far? I think it works. I think I'm gonna do one more thing here. We're gonna try to do like a little, we're gonna try to do like the little like, uh, little floppy tail on the front. Like, like imagine like the bangs has like the little flip of hair that's out of control. You know what I'm talking about, Summer. Mm -hmm. Summer has it going on right now. I do too, actually. You can't see it, but I, my beard is going nutty today. It is not participating. I glued together my Agent Venom yesterday, and I, I just want to say I was super impressed at how solid and stable it feels, even though he just held up with a couple symbiote tendrils. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's all process of learning and developing new stuff, working with our partners, and, you know, it's it's just, it's just design. It's just thinking about design and keep working and trying to make it better every time. I'm allowed to fail. I'm going to stay mad at Look, Clark Bent, Kent Bangs. Uh, oh, it's funny. That's too big. So the secret would be trying to keep this kind of square. And long and foppy. It's got to be a little foppy. This is still real thick. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. I think we can make it. I'm just going to keep pulling that little sausage out. You got to make the sausage sometimes. Yeah, real happy with the way Agent Venom turned out. Once again, that was one of those ones, right? You... You 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 start working on it and you think to yourself like, is this even going to work? Is this possible? How is this possible? Um, you know, do, are we flying too close to the sun? We use that phrase quite a bit, and sometimes it just works. And it's still just too thick. Still just too much. Sometimes it takes way less putty than you think. And you just keep going back and forth. You just just got to be patient. There's no rush. We're not we're not in a rush. Re up on my lip balm. So we're going to try to attach it to one side, the, the side that's not been sculpted on. I'm drawing that back and I'm pushing that putty back to itself. Did that make sense? I think so. So we want this to attach. Am I, am I in a terrible spot? Oh, I'm not showing anything. Spot. I'm sort of in a zone now. No, you're fabulous. I just want to make it a little bit sharper so we can see our fine friend here. Okay. 
we're just going to try to try to slowly trim away. I think there's always a way to make make miniatures interesting and in sculpt. I think there's always an answer. Uh, sometimes they're not super clear on what that answer is. We're going to obliterate some of our sculpt, and that's okay. Miniatures is the fine art of correcting one's mistakes. So. And we're going to let that cure. So that's going to take a day. But then we can shape that that trail with our hobby knife and trim it down to make it work. So we'll have to wait to cut that off. But that's okay. It's a good start. It's a good start. Let's work on a. Let's work on a sword. Let's work on a sword. So, where where did I lose it? So the first thing we need to do is trim off the excess plastic from around our original shape with the extra plastic that was glued underneath. So we're just going to slowly trim away the extra. Once again, I'm not in a rush. I'd rather do it right than twice. A little shave to even them up. Speaking of Chris, he's probably screaming at me right now for the way I'm holding my knife, and I apologize. That shape is pretty close to what I want. So we're gonna sand it. I do need to have a full roster of 10 psychic power pose maze. Yeah. That's that comic book psychic pose is classic. Every comic book character, when they jump in there, they tuck a leg. That's just how you jump in the air, Summer, when you're a comic book. Yeah, what a pretty good bite in that. Okay. 
What is philosophy? If I can't get it right, I'll cover it in effects. <laughs> Start putting a bevel in there. I'm just using sandpaper. Sand it down. Yeah, the Beta Ray Bill 2021 main series. He uh, he goes and he gets the Twilight Sword and just a pretty cool design. I thought it'd be fun to convert something up. I love conversions. So. I thought, why not? And Summer agreed. Summer's like, yeah, let's put it on stream. A little something different we haven't really done before. Let me know if you like it. Actually, don't let me know at all. Let Summer know. Yeah, you gotta have scuttlebutt on me. Scuttlebutt's the name of a spaceship, Summer. Mm -hmm. uh, not in the movies. No, I don't think he's. I don't think scuttlebutt shows up in the movies, does? It? Or was it the cartoon? I'm not sure. I just did the, 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 the marathon and we just watched the Thor movie with Surgeon and I almost could have sworn Scuttlebutt was about it, but I might be mistaken. I also might have just been looking at that card a little bit too much. Summer's just staring at the card. <laughs> I don't even really know why. <laughs> this is the fun part. Watch Watching somebody sandpaper a piece of plastic, a little sword. Watch me make a little sword, everybody. Who's gonna make a little sword? It's so chonk. So I think more sandpaper needs to happen. But I'm gonna start trimming up this hilt. Start to get a little shape on there. Maybe we round the corners a little bit. No, I'm not I'm not great at this, but. I try, so I'm not I'm not trying to be perfect by any stretch. Sorry. I'm just gonna remove some of the material. Softening and shaping the lines. Sorry, I'm looking down the, the blade at the hilt to make sure my shape is close enough to good enough. Just getting rid of all the hard edges and rounding it off. <laughs> A new defenders leader, man, uh, who knows?
You just got Hulk. What more do you want? There's always something in the works. I wouldn't I would never rule anything out around here. World Breaker Hulk? Oh man, what a great design, right? There's a lot of shaping. Are you seeing it? Yeah. It's getting there. It's still a pretty chunky sword. I still need to get it good and beveled, but I think the overall shape is there, right? And then, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of some of this. I, I, I put way too much brass rod in there, but that's what I usually do. I usually add way more than I need. Uh, I just love that Sorcerer Supreme Strange mini miniature and want to use him in Defenders. And you can use him. Bink. Is this one you'd run on a list or put on a shelf? Scottish Paint, are you asking about this Batery Bill? So I need to drill my whole. Oh, sorry. Probably need to drill my hole a little bit deeper. I don't think I quite. Yeah, you did. Oh, nope. I just shoved. Oh, I, you know what? I haven't glued this yet. Nope. <laughs> Mars Raccoon, like, that's in. You probably could. I, I always get a little nervous around that because like, you know, someday we might just do a World Breaker Hulk. Look at that. That's not bad, eh? Like I need to glue it together and I still need to do a little shaping. Um. Probably run it in a list. I'd probably run this in a list. I have no plans to make it a display piece, so I could see myself putting it on the table. What's your favorite conversion you've seen from a few of our Favorite conversion that I've seen? Uh, that's a good question. What's my favorite conversion I've ever seen of an MCP miniature? Maybe not your favorite, but you know, it's a strong version. One that stands out? Put me on the spot. Um, I'm trying to think. I saw somebody took the core box Iron Man and made him flying, and I thought that that was pretty cool. I haven't been to a local game store in a while, so... 
No, I don't get to see a lot of conversions. I don't spend a lot of time on social media either. I'm doing too much painting at home. No time for social media. I'm gonna walk away and then immediately when I get to my desk, I'm gonna be like, oh yes. I remember. This one side's a little funkied. That's pretty good. Yeah, you just never know when a character is going to show up, right? Like, it's like. Is this, we're going to explore the world and we're going to explore for as long as you let us. I definitely think converting one character to another character is a dangerous proposition. But if that's what you dream of, then by all means, go dream it. Takes a lot of work to shape a sword, Summer. But I think I got it where I like it. Look at that big chunky sword. Should I glue it? I don't have super glue. <laughs> Came ill prepared, but I totally nailed it. It's two o'clock. That means we're done here. Because... Look at that. Twilight Sword activate. Oh, we gotta turn it like this though. Hang on. I don't have my pin vise. I'm never going to get that to stick in there, but you can get the gist of it, right? Yeah. Look at him. So uh, let's talk about let's just talk about our final steps. So as you saw, we we drilled our we drilled our pegs, we built the foundation, and then we added and then we let that cure. Then we added a layer of smoothing elements to shape and form. Then we let that cure, and then we added our texture side. So we got let this side dry to add our texture side. I need to work on our little foppy bit. I think. The only thing left to do with the sword is maybe a little more sanding just to be sure and drill the hole a little deeper and mount it onto the hand, glue the arm in. I might try to sculpt a little bit of the like magic effect on the sword, maybe. We'll see what happens and then, and then paint him. Um, I'll go with what's in, the, in, the, in, in that run. So he's a little darker 
little, uh, little uh, heavier paint job on him. So we'll get him painted up. Not on next week's stream, because next week is games. Yeah. So that leads us to the part where I say the ending that I have memorized. I get so confident because I got memorized. You know how very few things I memorize? I refuse to put very, I, very little things get newly added to this brain space because I'm afraid I'll forget, you know, some random nonsense I don't need to know about. You can't take that risk, Summer. You just can't take that risk. So for all the latest news information and announcements coming from Atomic Mask Games, you should check us out on Twitter and or Instagram because that's where Summer and the marketing team talk. And they put out all the information about, you know, new stuff and all the cool stuff coming. Also, every Tuesday and Wednesday, you can check us out here on Twitch, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, for Atomic Mask Transmissions Live. You just watched it, but you should tell your grandma because she'll dig this. She'll be like, Beta Ray Bill, awesome, love it. Um, you can come hang out, you can talk, you can paint with us and do all kinds of fun stuff. Except for next week, third week of every month, we're going to play games. Next week we have a Shatterpoint game and a Marvel Crisis Protocol game. I'm trying to get some stuff painted for the Marvel Crisis Protocol game. I was going to say, I assigned you some homework. I have homework, Summer Gamey. I'm not done with it. I got a week to get it painted. Thank not. <laughs> wow. Wow. On that note, on that note, We'll catch y'all next week. Go and be the heroes you want to be. And we'll see you later. Bye. Beta.